the day after, like, he went to tell everyone in school that I'd masturbated my cat. All right, I'll, uh, who wants to take the intro? All right, so uh, Felix, since we finally figured out how to unmute your mic, would you like to do the intro finally? <laughs> You've been here just um, sitting silently for 20 episodes. It's time you yeah, earn your money. Wait, I was muted the whole time? Sadly. Why didn't no one tell I, I, me? Yeah, it's news to me as well. Fuck's sake, well, this is the worst podcast I have ever been on. Oh, boy. Well, we tried to tell you, but your headphones were muted too, so you didn't hear us. <laughs> Yeah. I forgot I don't have any senses. How am I here? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't feel us. <laughs> who's so who's doing the intro? Is it Felix? Oh I'll t I mean I'll take it. You don't you don't have to do the intro, Felix. It's all um, right. Um I'll leave it to the professional. <laughs> Alright, Andrew, you wanna take that then? I was gonna say you heard of the man, Kaya, but no, Charlie, <laughs> you do it. You haven't done it in a long time. <laughs> all right. You Yoodle Toodle, everybody. It's uh, episode twenty one of the official podcast. I'm Charlie, that's Jackson, that's Kaya, that's Andrew, and we're joined today by our special guest, Felix, also known as PewDiePie. You want to hey, introduce yourself? Hey, special guest. Thanks for having mm -hmm. me on. Um, my name is Felix, also known as PewDiePie on YouTube, I guess. That's all you need to know. So let's not waste any time here, Felix. How often and what are some interesting masturbatory experiences you've had? <laughs> This is what people come here for. <laughs> yes. Cutting right to the chase. Getting I was warned about it. this shit. <laughs> okay, wait, before you get into it, can you tell us who warned you? It was Cry. Yeah. He told he told me about yeah. uh some uh, some uh, leg to the wall technique, which I uh <laughs> yeah, I was very impressed by. <laughs> yeah, Andrew, you weren't here, but apparently Mr. Cryotic here is going around spreading the word about our podcast. So thank yeah, you. It seemed seemed like Cryotic. it. Cryotic. Yeah. Well, I heard, I heard thing, you guys right? ditched him uh, to get me on, so... That's not <laughs> true. That That's, That's not true. true. <laughs> All right. That All you're, right. you're spreading filthy rumors now. But he's welcome to come on and defend himself. Well, I've already scheduled him, but apparently I scheduled him for today as well, but I didn't know. <laughs> How are you this That's what bad he told at me. scheduling? <laughs> he scheduled them all for the same hour. He doesn't even know the hour. I don't God. know. It's just potluck, really. <laughs> Fuck it. Whatever. Bring them all in. Yeah, <laughs> we'll have a forty-person call. So anyway, Felix walking down the wall, the bread basket. What techniques? Tell us. <laughs> I mean, I clearly nothing's gonna wow you guys. No, the fucks the bread basket. Yeah, you can try. I already explained yeah. the bread basket. It's when you cr interlace your fingers and tuck it under your junk, and then like go back and forth like you're presenting a basket of bread. But that's not under your that's junk. Not. What yeah. is that? Yeah. Is it? Is that? Just masturbate. Oh, we're talking about masturbation, yeah. right? I thought we were talking yeah, about self-sucking addicts. You jack addicts. off like that. It was. I found it on Google when I was like 14. I was like, oh. Uh. <laughs> what? Huh. I can't tell if you guys are joking or not. This is so weird. No, we're completely <laughs> serious. <laughs> Welcome to the official no. podcast. <laughs> Where everything's yeah, the, a joke and nothing that should be a joke is. Okay. <laughs> the, um, the Patreon episode was about as serious as it gets. <laughs> I would I would say like the only the only weird thing was once I uh, when I was like fourteen this is gonna sound really weird uh, but mm -hmm. compared to you guys it probably won't be but uh, I I thought it was hilarious I, I probably was younger but I thought it was hilarious how your your cat gets his dick out that was like the funniest <laughs> thing ever <laughs> your cat how does your cat get your dick out I've never seen that I own so many cats now wait your cat well, gets you your dick out or the cat clearly. get the yeah, cat gets its own dick out. I mean, I'm confused. You, we don't need to get into the details of that. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, <laughs> the cat's dick. I always thought it was okay. so funny. And then I showed <clears> a friend, <throat> right? Because clearly I, I, I discovered this amazing thing that I can get my cat's dick out. <laughs> the epitome what of, do. Uh, yeah, exactly. The epitome of comedy. And, and I, I thought it was hilarious. Like, But apparently he was more like shocked by it. So the day after, like he went to tell everyone in school that I'd masturbated my cat. And I'm like, what the fuck? That's not what I did. <laughs> but then I realized afterwards, I'm like, yeah, no, I was pleasuring my cat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's the, All that's right. the worst. Holy shit. Yeah. Straight out of South Park, that Red Rocket episode. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Yeah, as well. Red Rocket. Some, did the cat grow, like, used to it? Like, would it ask for you to do it after a while? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? There may have been some hints here and there that I actually didn't pick up on. <laughs> Lingerie. Yeah. 
<laughs> now it all makes sense shaving. actually yeah Jesus. no we had we had to kill that cat it was too fat oh too what? fat to live oh, that's not like, a happy good lord <laughs> so you were chubby jacked chaser? off a fat cat until it died <laughs> <laughs> i mean yeah that's that's the story pretty much <laughs> sad fantastic <laughs> no it's I a like great story you... it's a romance yeah I like the way you phrase it. Getting the cat's dick out, it makes it sound like a really low-budget magic trick. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's how I saw it. And now I'll pull a dick out of this cat. <laughs> that fucking show it to the crowd, they start clapping. <laughs> <laughs> no one's ever that? discovered this before. <laughs> what the fuck is that thing? Well, some of you sounded <gasps> amazed, so maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Could be a thing. After YouTube. <laughs> hey, PewDiePie, what does he do now? You watch, after this fucking podcast, it's going to catch on in elementary schools across the nation. <laughs> More like street magic. Are you kidding me? David Blaine's <laughs> next special will be all about getting different animals' dicks out. Molesting cats, yeah. <laughs> David, is David Blaine's still around? I thought he got, like, superseded by Chris Angel. No, Chris Angel's just, been succeeded as well. Yeah. yeah. David, really? he just by had who? a Netflix special by David Blaine. By David oh. Blaine, yeah. <laughs> That's sad. Why does Netflix do? keep giving old ass, washed up people new shows? Because David Blaine comes up with new tricks. He spits out frogs now. Oh man, that's cool. Uh, yeah. You should do it uh, with toads, though. That'd be more impressive. I was literally yeah. thinking about that. Like, it, it is something interesting about getting the dick out of animals. I guess. Oh. <laughs> Never left me. Because how does a toad dick li- look like? You don't know. Well, I know duck well, duck dicks look super oh, weird. Yeah. They're like yeah, they're yeah. Yeah. corkscrews. Yeah. And, yeah, and that's because duck females have maze like vaginas because <laughs> most duck sex is rape. Oh, I heard about these that. are real yeah. facts. Yeah. yeah, these are real facts. It's upsetting. <laughs> ducks are when you when you come right down to it, ducks are horrible creatures. If you they live terrible like filthy lives. They're just <laughs> close to each lives other all day. Yeah. That's like we share more duck trivia. They live in yeah. the muck. Um. Uh, duck water rolls off ducks' backs. I don't know. That, that's well, Felix, unfortunately the only good ducks are like little well, I mean, boats. The only good duck fact I know is about dicks. So <laughs> I don't really know where to go with this. <laughs> There's well, also I know, know Felix. Dicks. Let me ask you this, yeah. and this question does have a right answer. Okay. Who would win? A hundred Brock Lesnar's or ten <laughs> enraged silverback gorillas? There's a follow up to this question. Wait, repeat that question. A hundred Brock Lesnar's, the the huge MMA fighter, or ten silverback gorillas. I don't know any MMA fighter, so now it's kind of hard for me to. He's just a huge. Just imagine a really muscular guy. Okay. Imagine me. Just imagine me. Yeah, just yeah. Or damn, I already said the okay. joke, Jackson. He's imagining okay. me now. <laughs> okay. Imagine both of us just wrestling. Okay. Yeah, imagine <laughs> you guys <laughs> merge one together person. as one entity with four eyes and two noses, wrestling men. Yeah. Eating oh, people. Sexy. I'm gonna have to go with gorillas. They're fucking scary. Okay, they they'll fuck you up. Hell yeah, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. Kai, I thought about that. it. I would also pick the gorillas. For sure. Yeah, Andrew was uh, fact checking this question yesterday during our Twitch stream, and apparently gorillas can lift up to 1,800 pounds if yeah. they're angry enough. Well, gorillas doesn't if have any best. morals either. They'll rip off your dick if they have to. You know. <laughs> yeah, they'll <laughs> get your dick out. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have any morals. <laughs> No sportsmanship, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> they don't play fair. They, don't they exactly. fight dirty. They'll kill the rat maze like vaginas. <laughs> they fight to win. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why are all animals dicks? Uh, you know, that's a weird, that's an interesting question. I don't understand the ducks thing, though. How would they evolve to have, like, a maze-like vagina that needs a key to fit into it? I don't understand. So, really like so the uh, the idea is because they get raped all the time, they evolve to have it so that when they get fucked, they don't get pregnant unless they want to get fucked. But they, they want to so get the, pregnant, the, though. The, Evolution's goal is to, like... Spread out but as they many wanna, as you want, as you can, I mean. Yes, but at the same time, they want to do it with a suitable mate. You don't want to have little weak bitch babies. Yeah, but if, if you're, <laughs> you if you're strong enough to rape dick. them... <laughs> oh, I get, I get it now. Yeah, I get it. If you're strong enough to rape I them... Like this, we need our own Netflix special. Fuck Bill Nye. <laughs> <laughs> the Whatever. official evolution podcast on Netflix just... Yeah, how many duck dicks have been on Bill Nye? Not enough. A surprisingly low Probably amount. Probably enough. Who knows? With his sex junk oh oh oh. I want to see Bill Nye go back to his kids' specials and be like, now you see here, this is a female duck with her maze-like vagina. And it's like a wacky kids graphic of a uterus <laughs> and a duck. He's like, if we slide down the fallopian tubes, and he's like in a water park on a water slide. 
how does a mage like <laughs> vagina look like? That is a, that is a good question. I feel like. I think I think it just has false entrances. I don't remember exactly. <laughs> false sounds more like it sounds like a booby trap. Oh. It's it's the labyrinth. At the end is the minotaur. It's like every rogue like on Steam Felix. All I remember is when I was in high school, someone was told me the fact about ducks getting raped, and I read like an article on it, and the the terminology they used was maze like vaginas. And I was like, okay, that's what they got. I think it's an interesting fact. Fair Did enough. you assume humans were like that too, or? I know, you know the difference. I know turtles have really big dicks as well. No, they don't. They do. Yep. do they? Yeah, they have the, they have huge fucking dicks. They almost go to their face. Uh, they're just packing heat <laughs> under their <laughs> shells. Yeah. How do they have sex? Do they just flop it out of the... If it's, Turtle power. Which way does it go then? Does it go up to their head so it's like the tips near their no, head? No, it, it points south magnetically, Jackson. <laughs> It, of course, it goes up. It's a dick. <laughs> so then, how do how do they <laughs> what, no, how do they get it out of the shell? Then it would have to come out the top of the shell, wouldn't it? Felix does a magic trick on him. <laughs> <laughs> Watch me pull a dick. Yeah, out no, of no, I, I, I could probably pull it off, to be honest. <laughs> um, it probably it probably comes out the same place their poop comes out, like the same hole in the shell. How does a body long dick look like? It sounds like a lance. I'm googling yeah. it right now. It's, it's very interesting. <laughs> How did it sounds like a man named Lance? I don't know how to describe what I'm seeing, but yeah, no, it seems like it comes <laughs> through like <laughs> Yeah, it does seem like it comes out of its butthole. Felix, a bit. live on the scene. Felix, what can you tell us? <laughs> well, I'm looking here at a turtle with a giant dick, and I'm a bit jealous. Uh, it seems to be coming oh my out God, of its This looks disgusting. <laughs> okay, yeah, actually don't Google it. I bet everyone's listening right, that's now. Don't, it. It's not worth it. What what animal has oh the largest God. the largest cock? Is it? I think it's the walrus, walrus. isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's okay. the walrus. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I, was, I was thinking blue whale no. might be. It has yeah, it has to be blue whales, aren't there? Right. Dicks like car sized. I don't think they have dicks. <coughs> I think they have spirals. <laughs> since you can Google dicks, <laughs> since you can swim through a uh, blue whale's veins, right? That means you can swim through a blue whale's dick. So. <laughs> you can swim through their veins. <laughs> I oh love my God. that imagery. <laughs> for, for, Imagine for David th- Blaine's newest Netflix special. All right, everyone, watch. I'm gonna swim through this blue whale's dick. Yeah, they have such bla- a big, uh, like, uh, what's it called in English? Uh, like a uh, blood arteries. Blood, yeah, arteries. Yeah. Urethra. Uh, <laughs> you can swim blood through pipes. Them. You could crawl through them. Yeah. Yeah. Holy That's shit. Cool. That's kind of scary. Imagine that is pretty scary. Animals are weird. <laughs> All right, let's transition from the animal kingdom cocks to an interesting question. Let's let's open this up to an interesting one. I've actually always right. wondered this, Felix. Okay. Since you're you're kind of the face of YouTube, and I've always kind of imagined, well, not imagined. It's pretty pretty clear that YouTube doesn't really communicate well with its creators. Do mm. you have like a direct means of communication with them? Do you talk to them often? Do they sometimes ask you for feedback on ideas or anything like that? Are you friends uh, with Mister YouTube? Mr. YouTube. Uh, Are you a YouTube hero? <laughs> um, yes, What's your YouTube? It's confidential. <laughs> uh, wait, so... You don't have any contact at YouTube at all? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. That's a bit fucked, dude. Jeez. Oh, you fucking poor person. <laughs> you peasant. You don't have any <laughs> contact evil. with YouTube. Uh, that's that's all I mean, I mean like, that's pretty fucked Charlie up that you don't even have get in it. contact with this partner. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can seldomly get in contact with my network. I had to go through hoops just to get in <laughs> I contact saw that video with one do intern. That. Yeah, I feel like everyone's had a shit experience with networks, especially, but yeah. YouTube in a way is like a network that we rely on, and like, it's kind of fucked that we don't have any connection to them, like, uh, I I got a connection two years ago, they, I have a, a partner, like, talent partner person at YouTube. That I can go to. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. And I and I think I thought a lot of people had it. Like, so I, that's why I assumed you had it. <laughs> Is that what they told you? <laughs> yeah, no, we have this for everyone. Uh, I guess not. <laughs> Jesus. Um, the thing the thing that I noticed with YouTube is that like I left them so much like constructive criticism over the years of like stuff they can improve and yada yada. I just th- none of it it's really taken like the comments are still fucked like Mm -hmm. been talking about that shit for years like i feel like there's been any seriously taken what i said so yeah i'm just at the point where like i don't really care about giving any feedback anymore if anything they've got they've gone the opposite route they've gone backwards yeah they've made so many mistakes and it's just yeah honestly they just go out of their ways to show us they don't give a shit really 
<laughs> That's I don't know why it is. Make it worse. It is, uh, yeah. I would just think since you kind of embody the whole website in a positive way, I would think that they would want to consult with you before fucking things up, but I guess that's not really the case. I, d- I don't think we have a uh, trust, really. No. <laughs> like that. <laughs> I, think, I think they probably worry that I'll make some sort of video fucking them over or some shit, it seemed like. Oh, well, I guess that's a good way to operate a business under constant fucking paranoia. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, to be I'd fair, be happy to give them YouTube's feedback on, on things. Eh, I guess. Well, it's just such a, it's just such a big company. It's like too big for its own good. Yeah. Yeah. Like, too many divisions, too many departments. It's too corporate. I mean, uh, all the features are designed by teams that don't even see the lower end. They just look at it in groups and majorities and facts and figures and on their own time. It's kind of hard yeah. for them to make stuff connecting to what people actually want. And then, the time. yeah. And then, meanwhile, I have YouTube help sector, which is nothing but a fucking barnyard fire. I am curious how some stuff like gets through them because they must test it to some people, right? Like the YouTube hero stuff. How do they not <laughs> see like, the cost they that shown that to a, Yeah, I know. It's bizarre. Yeah. So some then people it, are like, yeah, this is a great idea. Let's do that. They don't show it to it you. Cancelled though immediately, didn't they? No, it's still. Wasn't it, it? They, no, I didn't. It's still active. I would, I would think they <laughs> it's would sh- still going. Yeah, I think they would show that to you though. Do people even use it? No, I don't think so. Maybe like three. I or I never four heard people. anything about it. I think they they put it on ice after all the backlash. Yeah. Follow up question, Felix. What's your YouTube hero level? Six. It's on my Twitter bio. <laughs> oh shit. Do a little research. That's, that's Andrew. when you get your. Fuck! Yeah, I got exactly called out. Andrew. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's all right. What was your Twitch? You know, it's, what it's was fun. your What was your Twitter again? Jack Septic Eye. That's uh, it, yeah. All right, perfect. So let's do some couples therapy here. Felix, you seem to be implying that YouTube doesn't trust you a lot all the time. Uh, Is well, that how you like, feel? I, I made a lot of videos talking about, like, when they make shit, I'll, I'll say it. And I think they're worried that if I'll, they'll share something that I'll, I'll be like, this is a terrible idea or they're doing the wrong thing here or something like that. That's just what I think. I'm, I don't know. Why don't you ask your friend over on uh, YouTube? <laughs> uh, well, like, even if I ask that person, like, there's so many layers to it, because that, yeah. that person would just go to someone else. and mm. he, uh, he needs his YouTube, yes. like, affiliate. He needs his contact in YouTube as well. And then he needs to run through the yeah. YouTube help obstacle course. How much of like what vagina. they give you, how much of what they give <laughs> you is actual script, and how much of it is them actually just talking to you? Uh, I actually have a really good, uh... A talent person or whatever I, I i trust i trust that person okay and, right, well, that's, so that's good, that's good. They, yeah mm-hmm. they probably share more than they should uh, so i'm happy about that but I, I i think youtube is pretty divided i think after this uh uh wall street journal shabako like it, it, some people at youtube probably don't like me at all they probably think i'm a Nazi or some shit like that, and I think a lot of people just really support me. But no, I mean, I can kind of see where YouTube is coming from, though, as a big company. It's just so easy to smear people these days. It's not even on them. I mean, if I mean someone like you who makes a joke, and the next day all of these outlets like Polygon or Wall Street Journal and all that fucking shit rags, they, if they just smear your talent mm. as a Nazi who wants to Zeke Heil the German flag under a nuclear sky... Then yeah, you're kind of gonna get itchy and you know nervous about them making more content that's just gonna reflect badly on you, your yeah. sponsors, your advertisers. That's a good. I point. mean, the ad drought now is just horrible. Apparently, it's, a lot of YouTubers are being affected by it to varying degrees. I mean, some people reportedly make just nothing anymore. Some oh, yeah. are affected <laughs> more yeah. or less, but. <laughs> Some make nothing at this point, and it's for bogus reasons. I mean, they cited extremism and racism and some nonsense like that, but I I don't know when the last time these people were on YouTube is just... I don't know if you guys have ever looked at the trending page, but I've never seen any ISIS videos there. It's yeah. YouTube has always been good at keeping the extremist nonsense out of YouTube, but I think what they're doing now is just they're classifying more things as extremist. I mean, I assume your videos are probably being flagged as racist nonsense, Felix. God uh, knows. A, a lot of my videos are getting flagged. Yeah, <laughs> they did the right stuff. The there. audacity to make jokes. <laughs> I think, yeah, it, it is a bit weird. Like, YouTube turned into so much politics and stuff like that now. 
it's weird how it's all so mixed up. But I, I agree. Like YouTube has done a good job, actually. They already their system was it's been so hard striking down so fucking hard. So the fact that this whole thing happened is kind of I didn't expect it. Like the apocalypse or whatever. Exactly. That's my point. Like it, nothing yeah. actually happened. YouTube has always been great about keeping out gore. You know, yeah. any sort of nonsense like racism, Com- comparing it to animal other cruelty. Social- yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Other- social media websites as well like they're doing a way better job at that oh yeah exactly and then to for some people to suddenly imply youtube has become this hotbed for white nationalists or anything it's it's an absurd excuse but of course if when you hear that as an advertiser if i'm pepsi or coca-cola then yeah my thought is okay well pull out of that otherwise some people you know the usual whiny soccer moms they're gonna get angry with us if we keep advertising with them well, I think they pulled out because they wanted to, like, do some damage to, to Google. That makes I, sense. I, really? I think yeah. that as well. In what way? It's big companies versus each other. They see it as a chance to do, do, do harm to them and, aspe- and also, uh, you know, lower their, uh, their, pri- uh, their, their price. Value. You know, now yeah. They, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah it, it definitely makes sense. Yeah. I, I, then they can they they can make I mean, a lot makes... more demands as well, in order to bring that. Yeah, ads exactly. Back. It makes yeah so, a lot of sense. So now yeah. YouTube yeah. has to be super uh, sensitive to really show like, look, guys, we have this new system in place, and it is fucked right now. Like, I, none of my videos are getting monetized properly, and it's super annoying. Uh, yeah, I, I, I hope it will get better. Yeah, that's all I can do, really. <laughs> yeah. I, I, <laughs> I have a follow-up question. On Twitter, you said that you spoke to them about it and you're feeling better. Is yeah. there anything you can share as to why you're feeling better about it if they told you anything? Well, because whenever they add something new, it's going to be fucked, and it, it clearly has, and they're saying uh, they're going to improve it over time, and it needs time. So I'm just trusting that, essentially. I just feel better that they acknowledge that it's fucked, to be honest. Like, okay. They took responsibility. <laughs> that, that's something. That's a, yeah. good, it's a good yeah. step, definitely. <laughs> the first thing um, they've admitted to being wrong about in 10 years. Yeah. Well, that's because that's they're not getting as much money anymore as well. Not even officially. No. Yeah, it's, that's a, another it's a shitty situation I, for everyone. Yeah. I mean, do you guys really think, though, that Google cares that much about YouTube as an income source? It cannot be that big of a... That's deal a good for point. them. Well, they're not, if they they're care not this little as about. Well. No, like, yeah. no, like Felix said, it's more about face value. You, like YouTube is one of their largest brands, so that's it's. Obvi- I mean, it's kind of like a yeah. sentimental value. Like, it, well, no, think about it. It's this not way. sentimental. It just reflects back on Google if YouTube is typecast as a racist yeah. video platform. Oh yeah. yeah. I, I was just gonna say, in terms of, do they care that much for like a source of income? Not particularly, since YouTube has literally never been profitable since it's take over by google but it's a monopoly oh, really? <laughs> yeah it's a monopoly that they feel is worthwhile to have because it's a pretty powerful tool mm-hmm. yeah that's the only reason they're they probably can... now trying to make it more profitable by turning it into tv yeah that's the goal i imagine but for now the reason they operate it at a loss and always have is just because it's worthwhile to keep the monopoly which i respect and on that note i think it's about time we transition into a, another pretty interesting topic Sports? You like sports? Felix? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on that bombshell, Felix, I have an actually good question. <laughs> All right. So, Felix, we can talk about um, sports. No, I, I don't like sports. Uh, none of us like sports. None of us, none of us actually want to talk about uh, sports. Thank God. We're just trying um, to attract that audience. Yeah. Okay. So, we tried, guys. Uh, Felix, I have a... I have an actual general question for you. Um, are there any things that you influence with your popularity and all that that kind of surprise you? Like, obviously, when you commentate over a certain game, it's going to boost in sales or plays or all that. But are there other things that come with it where you go, wow, I didn't know that people would start doing that or any of that? Uh, Not to you. Well- <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Uh- <laughs> I mean, I th- the first thing I was surprised about when I saw stats of some games that I played or whatever, that's that really shocked me, like, how much of an impact it actually had. Like, literally thousands of sales just from me playing it. That's, like, crazy. Mm. Uh, I noticed recently I made, it was kind of, I just made a video talking about my clothes, and all of a sudden, these brands that I wear reached out because they had, like, a shit ton of sales. <laughs> and- Holy shit. <laughs> 
I, that's really funny. I, it just seems kind of stupid because I never thought about that, I guess. But, fuck, I don't know. I guess people people get toads as pets or some shit like that, yeah, I guess. I, I think people people are uh, influenced by a lot of weird all shit. All of those that toads are going to end up gas now. Because of <laughs> yeah. You. What <laughs> is irony. it with you gassing? <laughs> I I don't really have a better answer than that. I don't really know, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, it's completely all right. okay. Felix, we uh, you know, this podcast is a comedy podcast, and I think Charlie has a joke to tell you. Oh man, great. Well, Felix, Ooh, boy, you you make a lot of comedy videos. I mean, that's kind of what you built yourself on. But I'm sorry to say, this joke puts you out of business. If the very first laugh from Caveman aeons ago was the beginning of comedy, this is the end. This joke. Mm-hmm is perfection that I don't think could ever be matched. And it's a true story, believe it or not. So okay. are, you, are you ready? I'm ready. I don't think you understand just the magnitude of this joke. Before I tell it, I want to tell you one more time. This joke is pure perfection. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I was driving down I-4 with my girlfriend. I have a girlfriend, Felix. I don't know if you knew that. She kicked my mother out recently. And we were driving down. Oh, okay. We were driving down. No, you kicked my mom out. We were, we were driving down I-4. <laughs> And I-4 is a road here. It's the interstate. And we were driving down there and I saw a sign for a restaurant called Boardwalk Burgers. You know, it's just your standard old restaurant, your old burger joint. You know, homeless people slap some patties on the foreman's. It's just some wholesome good time. And I saw this sign. And with my razor sharp wit, with my genius, my intellect, I said, Boardwalk Burgers, more like board burgers, because those burgers aren't having any fun. (laughs) Bravo. <laughs> was that was that the joke? I just want to make sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was, I was okay, that was Charlie. amazing. Did you notice he snickered because he thought it was going to keep going, but then yeah. it stopped and he <laughs> yeah, got confused. I did thought, I did thought it was going to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thinking man's joke. Uh, no, he thought your joke was, was the setup. He didn't even know there was a punchline. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you probably thought the joke was your girlfriend beating you or something. Yeah. I'm well, still, I'm still waiting, was... hoping something bad. No, I'm just kidding. That was, that was a really good joke. I'm sorry. Thank you. Sir. I didn't mean to ruin your joke. <laughs> I, you may have hyped it up a little bit too much. That's, I think that's the only problem. That's why I got confused. The, the joke is <laughs> massive with the audience. The audience just responds greatly to that joke. They love it. Well, Jackson, do I, we have the shirts yet? I have the same oh, yeah, button. Yeah, mutiny yeah. us and kill us and eat yeah, us up. Like right. uh, I see them rioting. Like eat the rich, kill the officials. Starting, starting today. Starting today, you can grab. Your very own Boardwalk Burger shirt from uh, from the link in the description, I believe. Yeah. So, what? wow, that's yeah. some advanced shilling right there. Holy lord! Yeah, really. Starting. Well, I need Thursday. to buy this shirt right now. <laughs> Perfect. Well, so, yeah. PewDiePie, well, you were you were talking about stuff you wear. So, <laughs> hey, we have shirts uh, now. Yeah, I was about oh, to yeah, say, no, I, don't blow up go. our store, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what? What did you say, Andrew? Sorry. What? I mean, dude, I was going to say, don't let Felix blow up our store if he wears <laughs> it in one of his videos. We're going to get our fucking DDoS attack. I say, I well, say send, we... send me one for free. I don't want to pay for it, though. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> it's not worth the money. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, we'll pay you. <laughs> if it's any consolation, none of us unskilled dweebs made it. It was actually, I think Jackson had it done by an actual graphic artist with, you know, skill and yeah, talent. pretty much. Stuff he didn't lo- know oh, very cool. little about. That's about right, yeah. It's a good shirt, damn it. it I like that. Send, send it to me for I wish free. I could see it. I don't know how to find it. I don't have the link in the description. That's a good That's question. True. Felix, where are you right now? I'm in, in UK. We asked him that. Well, he wasn't here. Oh, when? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when, Kaya? When? When you were slacking off at work. Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway, uh, I yeah, I mean, I'm in Brighton, Brighton, UK. Okay. Good place. Do you to be. travel a lot then, or I, I try not to. I, I I I hate traveling. Why is that? I just don't have the time. I'm a, I'm a busy man. <laughs> it's just I upload busy. videos daily, and it's really hard. Like as soon as you travel, it's like man, I get fucked. I don't want to do it. Can't you just do guess, like vlogs on though. the plane and shit like that? People would eat that. Yeah, I, I've done that, but it's, uh, it's fun for one day. I feel like, and then it gets. You could be the next David Dow. <laughs> Who's the guy Who that got is that? <laughs> he got the guy that got brutalized by United Airlines? Oh, is that his oh. Name? oh, oh yeah. Asian shit. dude! You know what? That would be amazing. Honestly, I'll take that shit. Oh, United can beat me up any day. Yeah, that would be. They're I would love know. for that to happen. Well, not to you. Like, uh, you take brain damage. Well, just I could go without two teeth. That's fine. 
but brain damage would be kind of a blow. <laughs> what happened yeah. to that guy? I never heard anything else now. about it. <laughs> no, he isn't. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, oh. They settled with United Airlines, but for an undisclosed amount. Oh. An undisclosed dick load, he basically. Got his, he got his parking validated. <laughs> <laughs> and they gave him a free t-shirt. And I should carry on. Yeah. But the t-shirt was two sizes too big. Mm. I actually had another question them? for you, though, Felix. Uh, one last thing. Right. I was just going to ask, Felix, uh, since you do make videos daily and all of that, is there ever a time where you make a video but don't feel like doing it? Or do you only make them when you're in the mood, in the zone, feeling that feeling that vibe? Uh, what What do you mean? Like, if I don't upload it or I just like, I, I'll be like, fuck well, it, do, I don't want to record. I'll just do something else. Is that what do you, you ever do videos when you don't feel yeah, like, like it? Do you force yourself to even if you may Is not want to? Is it a job to? to you? Um, there's definitely times where I'm like, oh, fuck, I don't feel like recording anything. But I feel like once I start recording, I, I kind of get into it automatically mm. okay. in a way. So I think it's more like getting started can be kind of rough sometimes. You're like, ah, oh, fuck, I don't want to do anything. Just you've been, I've seen you've been doing like more frequent videos now. Like, how do you find that? Uh, for me, it's, it's a more of a cathartic experience. Like pretty much anything that happens throughout the day doesn't really affect it. I always want to make something. So no matter what mood I'm in, once I do something, I do it because I'm having fun doing it. Like I told a story about I watched a man like OD one time and I came home and made a video in his honor. Rest <laughs> yeah. in peace. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just for me, it, it takes me out of reality and I just kind of get lost in doing the stuff and it's always fun. I guess that's what I mean too. Like you, you even if you, like I don't feel like doing it, you kind of get lost when you do it and you get into it. In yeah, a way. more uh, or less. Yeah. So no matter why. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. But um, it, it is, I think with daily, it's like, I like it because you don't get so precious about the content. <laughs> A lot of times when I put too much effort into it, it's just like you get so excited and you share it and it doesn't match your excitement and you get like bummed out. If, like you do it daily. It's like, ah, fuck it. Let's move on to the next one. Kind of. Have you ever had like a big project that you were disappointed with the results of or have they all pretty much met your expectations? No, no, there's definitely been like some videos like I, I even though I do daily, I try and put like days days on and onto them and i find those to be very <coughs> lackluster like not worth the effort <laughs> uh, that fiverr video probably bombed you out huh <laughs> <laughs> that fucking fiverr video man that was that was suggested to me by another dude to do as well i'm like fuck why did I, he have to tell me that <laughs> i got an old video ideas that fucking thing what well, was it like a fan that told you to do it or Oh, like no, it friend. was it was a friend of mine. It was and he stole it from another uh, streamer or YouTuber, and that that guy was super pissed that he gave the idea to me. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's now he's gotta be happy. He's like I, the I, king, and he he made you eat his food to make sure it wasn't poisoned, <laughs> but it was poisoned. So pretty pretty much. I mean, yeah, he dodged a bullet. I guess I don't think he would have been dumb enough to put that shit on the sign, but I mean, anyway, it happened. Yeah. Did you learn your lesson, though, Felix? Will Absolutely, you be a one hundred percent learned my lesson. Stop making I will jokes. Never do anything. Yeah, I'll never do anything bad again. Good. Good. <laughs> we like good boys. Do I, need to, do, I need to keep, <laughs> yeah, do I need to keep carrying this with good so questions? So, Felix. <laughs> yes. Um. What are so <laughs> clear question? His throat I guess. For this one. <laughs> I I keep taking drinks at the most inopportune moment. Um. So, have you met any, like, big-time celebrities from doing this? Like, Hollywood actors or musicians oh, or any what's, of that? What's the goss? That he could hook us up with? Yeah, and do you have what any you interesting get stories up with, from Tom doing Hanks? shit like that? Uh, he met Tom Hanks. Who do you want to get hooked up with? No, I asked if you wanted to get hooked up with him. Yeah. Um, yes. Well, we already are. He's a Patreon subscriber. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> I don't Hanks want to 14. seem like I'm name-dropping or some shit, but... Uh, I met uh, Ryan Reynolds backstage. Really cool guy. I really like him. Uh, I felt like a fan. It was kind of weird, like being like, mm -hmm. "Hey, can I please have a picture with you?" No, uh, he's super cool about it. Uh, now, see, Felix, cruise. what you don't know well, is that yeah. after you met him, he was like, "Oh my god, that was PewDiePie." <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, no idea who the fuck I was. It was so obvious. <laughs> I'm just trying to liven your spirits. <laughs> no, 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 it's all right. My ego's big enough already. I appreciate it, though. 
Um, Fair enough. Yeah, I don't know. Just random people, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. That's what we also keep talking about in our group chat here, in our shitty group chat on the Skype, us guys, is the disparity between how popular real life celebrities are versus internet celebrities. It's fucking weird, it's, isn't it? It's yeah. insane. Oh, yeah. It's incredible. Okay. I mean, so we have the too. biggest YouTuber on right now, but Felix, we cannot even get word back from the Red Power Ranger. I mean, well, <laughs> no the, the one, one replies I think us. the one comparison I made is like, we, we, we have Felix on literally the biggest YouTuber, and then LeBron James could make a single tweet and six times as many people will care. It's yeah. a different culture. Like, you can't really yeah. compare the two. Like, for instance, the people that are following people like LeBron James or the Red Power Ranger, especially the Red Power Ranger, that man's a fucking fossil. They didn't grow up with internet people, personalities. They viewed the internet as just like get information and look at porn. But it's kind of evolved <laughs> to a place where actual people with actual opinions and input and can actually make an effect have blossomed and they don't know well, about it or care to learn about it. So they don't really have much of an overlap yeah internet yeah, in, internet celebrities sense. are like primarily excluded to people on the internet whereas like real life celebrities have everyone else as well as everyone well as else like yeah the people on the internet yeah, everyone and their grandmas them. yeah i even still like kid actors who had tv shows like 10 years ago they they still have more twitter followers than most youtubers will ever have <laughs> It's incredible. But yeah. I think that'll change in the future. I think that's a real interesting thing to witness is how the internet and the real life have started to merge in a way. It is, it is more and more, definitely. More and more. This is one of the reasons I hate Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> okay. Just to shoehorn him in here is one. I don't know if you guys saw this tweet that he tweeted out a while back. It was, it was something like 1970s, we went to the moon, 1980s, something. I saw something, that tweet. And then 2017 dot 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 and he was basically implying that what the fuck have we done this year or in this decade mm-hmm. uh, what kind of a douchebag do you have to be I mean, we invented the internet we are on the verge of basically curing AIDS cancer a whole slew of other diseases and you guys know that meme that goes I was born too late to explore the planet too yeah. early to explore space it sort of always bummed me out but now I kind of feel different because it's actually interesting to see the first steps of the internet and the real life becoming one. At least for me, it's an interesting experience. Like for for now, like you, Felix, you might be just a internet celebrity, but in twenty years from now, probably not anymore. The next generation won't be only limited to the internet. That's LeBron's gonna die to, one day, Andrew. Yeah. Well, that's a weird thing to think about. In like 30 years, you'll have 50-year-olds going, I remember back in my day, we had PewDiePie, and he was a lot <laughs> funnier than these guys around here. This fucking, you're Jagan Manson and Fisticuffs 12. Oh, they're not funny. They're no. And just to think that in the future, internet culture will be an actual culture, not just a somewhat niche that it still is. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's hard to imagine. Yeah, if you were just one generation later, you might have made it into history oh, books. God, God well, damn it. The pioneers are always you just in the history books. had to bring that books. up. That's true, yeah. Yeah. I don't think I've done anything worth being in history books, but yeah, that's all right. Well, you, I mean, you got a cat's dick out. <laughs> that is what I want. That's pretty impressive, yes. yeah. <laughs> Your legacy. First man to tame what a it, toad as well. Felix, what would you do if, if legitimately there was like a memorial or a statue erected to you? And it just said, Felix, YouTube celebrity and cat dick enthusiast. How would Honestly, you that would make me the most happy. Like, I, I could die right now if that was the deal. <laughs> well, I have a surprise for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm She's on the phone worse. right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the deal. I'll take it. Whatever no, way I have to fun. die, doesn't matter. <laughs> wow, Jesus. You take a slow, painful death just to be remembered that way. He really loves oh, yeah. Hey, what can I say? Well, who doesn't, honestly? <clears throat> Name one person on Earth, Jackson, who doesn't. Well, that person Actually, that ratted me out about the cat dick to, sc- to all the people in school. Obviously. Yeah, fuck that guy. Fuck yeah, asshole. fuck him. He's yeah. a weirdo. <laughs> What he doesn't right. know is when he, ratted, when he ratted you out, every other student went, wait, this guy doesn't like cat dicks? I mean, I, I don't want I don't want to seem weird, so I'll go along with it, but this guy's weird. Yeah. And then he grows up to be PewDiePie, so I guess be careful who you call ugly in middle school. <laughs> 
Felix, were you called ugly in middle school? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, no, I, yeah, I, I, wanna, I, I doubt it. I, I want to ask an actual question. I, I, you've probably <laughs> been asked question. this so many times and stuff. Right. But, uh, <clears throat> like, are you, do you feel awkward about the internet fame and people asking you questions and wanting to, you know, be around you? Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. I'm, yeah, uh, I imagine. I'm like, uh, because like, most TV personalities or whatever, they're they're very eccentric people, and that's how they made it in the industry. They kind of have to be. I'm just a nerd, like who made it in for, like making videos in front of a computer. Like I'm not used to uh, all that shit. That's kind of been like something I've gotten into. Have you like, taking ever felt like uh, discriminated against by them? I mean, like you said, you met a lot of real celebrities on like. I mean, I oh. I saw you. You've been on TV and stuff. Have you ever felt like they kind of resented you for not? I don't know, I guess not being famous the old school Hollywood style, but being no. self made on the internet. No, I don't think they would have put me on if they felt felt that, that way. I I never they're they're they've all been very good hosts. I think it's more when I get interviewed I get that vibe from a lot of people. Like us. Oh. Not not this interview or whatever. If this is an interview, I don't know. I don't think so, it's, but it's not. No, it's just, <laughs> this is just five friends hanging out. It's yeah. an audition no, to be a, a host of the podcast. Oh really? <laughs> You're, yeah, you're doing great so far. You're nailing it. Okay, great. Uh, yeah. Appreciate well it. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Interviews definitely. I, I very smug vibe from a lot of people. I think. What's What's the worst part of your job then? In quotation marks. <clears throat> I remember I a while back you made a yeah. video about people not leaving you alone at home. I remember uh, that part. Yeah, p- people have been very respectful since I did that, actually. Like, I, I had no problem after nice. that. Yeah, oh, that's pretty good. good. Wait, yeah. what was the yeah. issue beforehand? Where, like, when they set up their camps, people. they're at least a block away. <laughs> <laughs> the PewDiePie camps. Were there, uh, were, yeah. there, were there actual, <laughs> like, groups of fans showing up outside your house and shit? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, that's I, I just think a lot, a lot of kids don't, they don't realize these things. Yeah, like, like, I mean, if I was... What kind of message that lad. sends? That's oh, scary. That's a, yeah. Yeah, I was curious about that. So, Felix... Uh, Jackson, Andrew, and I, we have this problem where sometimes people assume that certain jokes are actually true, like our actual uh, persona. Uh-huh. How have you dealt with, uh, I don't know, like being able to tell people that, hey, my on stage is a little bit different than real world? And well, for the uh, people, people at home. Ha- Sorry, Kai, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, like, people seem to have the impression that I hate a lot of stuff. But yeah, go ahead, Andrew. Well, I was going to say, for the people who, at home who can't see it, Felix's Skype icon is a giant swastika. And <laughs> he's taking a selfie in front of it with a big Guys, shitty please, grin and a You promise you wouldn't up. tell anyone about this, for fuck's sake. Edit it out, Jackson. It even says, it even says in the that. Skype icon, don't tell anyone about this, but, you know, <laughs> we have to tell the internet some things, man. Can't hide it forever. You know what? Fair enough. The fact that I put that, you know, that's fair game. Or you tell everyone that. <laughs> That's it is lore. annoying. People people don't seem to pick up on sarcasm very well on the internet. So oh, no. I, I I totally get that. Not at all. Not it's at the all. worst. It's the worst with sarcasm. It, it, I mean, it's almost like they want to believe it as well. Oh, they do. They do. They they want something to fight yeah, for. They certainly do. Yeah. yeah. So Felix, then to follow up on that question, just being brutally honest, what are you sick of? What's something that a joke either you started or something you hear all the time that you're honestly just tired of by this point? That like a running joke on the channel or whatever is that what and you mean? Anything, anything, any any meme or culture thing you've started. I think my yeah. intro is I'm pretty. When you do YouTube for years, a lot of the the the, the catchphrases or whatever, if you let go of them, people just lose oh, their yeah. shit and like. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. I, I I'm so sick of doing the intro. Like it's not, it's just a boring way to start a video. Like how's it going, bro? It's my name's PewDiePie. Like it's. It, it, there are other ways to start a fucking video, and you don't always want to do it like that. But people, people actually, I don't think people care anymore. And you do like, it daily. Stupid you do it daily like as well, don't you? Yeah, it's like how many times yeah. can you do it before you want to kill yourself? Yeah, I can like, tell. You, like you might not videos, be you aware. A little reluctant. You might not be aware of this, but uh, every time Charlie doesn't tell his joke on the podcast, we have people just throwing shit fits. Just, I mean, I get it. Anarchy. It's an amazing joke. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. He gets it. It's pretty good. I think stuff like that is fun, though. Like, I, I get that, but like, I, I'm sure. No, no. I actually, I was gonna say that jo- joke is gonna run its course, but that, that's that's false. That's it's impossible. Never gonna happen. So, yeah. yeah. 
Uh, but if it would, I, I'm sure it would be kind of annoying to keep bringing it up, I guess. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, actually, I wanted to kind of weigh in here because for a while, in my experience, if I didn't say nipples or titties in a video, I would get shit and I'd feel bad. So for a yeah. while, I would make sure to mention both of them, like a checklist, <laughs> nipples, titties once. But you had like a, while, a text file open, written yeah. with it in front of you. Yeah, like a little script, must hit these two notes. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom sets you a reminder. <laughs> Charlie, have you said nipples yet? Please get on that. <laughs> but after well, a while... Thing- I, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. I was just going to say, after a while, I started to realize, you know, I'm, I'm really not making videos for other people i'm making them because i enjoy it so if i don't want to say those things i really shouldn't feel obligated to i don't obviously i'm not going to speak for you but i feel like if you don't want to always do the intro every time i don't feel like you should feel forced by your fans i'm sure they'd understand you have a really understanding group of fans these days and i think they'd mature enough to just get that you don't want to do it every time and it's better to not force it Mm -hmm. it's time so charlie that's a that's a good question for you charlie are you sick of your intro I don't do my intro every time. I only do my intro when I feel like doing it. And I don't even consider mm-hmm. it like my intro. It's just how I've started videos sometimes. And I kept doing it. Quality is your intro. But what, you used to do it for every video. And yeah. now you do it intermittently. Is it because you got sick of it? Or is there something else? Or just what? No, I, I just don't force myself to if I don't think to. I've never really labeled it as my intro. It's just I've always done the same type of video like gameplay commentary. So I would just associate it with that. But yeah. once I started doing other things, I didn't really consider it my intro that I have to do for every single thing. So if it doesn't fit into the context, like if I'm doing a commercial dub, I don't think opening up with my intro is a good idea. <laughs> so I I just don't. I omit it. I think that's a good approach. I thought it was just a uh, I was just going to say, it's a good approach to do videos the way you want to do it. And I, I, I think the last couple of years I've been really doing that and... I realized I had to make that decision because otherwise I would just not be happy. And I, I've been enjoying it a lot more just doing my own thing, I guess. Yeah, so yeah, you're happy now? Sorry. Yeah, it definitely seems like it. Like, it yeah. seems like you're a lot happier with the videos you're making. You're definitely doing some other stuff, some different stuff, which is always good to keep mixing it up and keeping things yeah. fresh. Yeah. Even I, I like it. It keeps it more fun for everyone. Appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> so does the daily grind ever wear down on you in any way? Because for me, I, I like to upload stuff daily as well and do kind of easier things. But I always have this nagging voice that's like, I want to make more elaborate products or more mm. like edited, higher, not budget, but higher production value things. And just I, I, I think in terms of like skits, like, oh, that's a funny idea or, oh, I want to present this thing and not as much in just I want to show myself on a camera. So does that yeah. the daily grind in that sense ever weigh down on you do you ever have that kind of drive to do more with it or is it just a different thing uh, i guess i'm a lazy motherfucker i'm i'm happy with the daily grind sometimes yeah i i think about stuff i could be doing if i didn't do it daily but i think i wouldn't be happier doing it but i see what you mean with like you want to do something more elaborate mm-hmm. if i want to do and something elaborate sorry no you were talking. Oh, you, 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 uh, you, don't, you don't apologize yeah. you interrupted uh, you <laughs> yeah, sorry I uh, I just gonna say uh, if anything now I forgot what I was gonna say fuck no, <laughs> oh great work Kaya God damn it thanks a lot Kaya <laughs> Jesus that's okay I interrupted PewDiePie I'm, my job is done here <laughs> I'm I'm legit trying to think of it I'm like what the a fuck? couple of minutes ago you, you already said that you sometimes want to do more elaborate stuff but at the same time you're worried that if it doesn't pan out it'll just bum you out. Yeah, we enjoy doing daily stuff more. Yeah, and it, if anything, we just f- try and figure out how to do it daily. Yeah, the balancing act. Yeah. You can it's, make it, it doesn't have to be polished. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> can be shit and still well, be I good. Well, I mean, I mean, that's what YouTube even rewards at this point. I mean, it is. You'll yeah, get, if you make a big production about it, you'll get maybe a small amount more views on it than you would your regular stuff. But if yep. you are just a personality more than anything, your regular stuff is what's gonna. Mm-hmm. bring people in more than anything so it's time versus reward effort really oh yeah i i i really have that formula on youtube is like the more effort spent does not mean you're gonna get a better video that people oh, yeah. are gonna enjoy more i mean youtube is a race i talked about this in a previous episode but youtube is a race to the bottom just from the beginning to the end the more marketable easy quick and fast you can put out something that people want to watch the more you'll get out of it 
that's just how it is. You can't really blame yeah. you blame uh, like YouTube for that though. It's more no, so it's the just, audience. They just want. Oh, the just, oh, oh, no, I don't can. I don't can a YouTube encourages it. Yeah. You want, well, you want, it's it's just the idea of social media. The whole like, point mm-hmm. is social. The more people you can connect with, yeah. and the more often you can do it, the more you're gonna get back. I mean, YouTube's that's, not that's gonna push something that the audience doesn't want though, Kyle. Yeah, but you also have to think of it this way. Like, in our podcast, we're really connecting to a lot of people that can relate to pulling cat dicks out and sucking their own dicks by walking down walls. That's why I'm, I'm glad we can connect with these people. I was aware of that. The minority that I've been looking for all my life. <laughs> <laughs> Felix, do you still have. Uh, do you still feel encouraged, though, to make any real serious content? Or keep making it on YouTube with are the you, way things are going. Are you saying I'm not making serious content? <laughs> no, I mean not the passion. I mean playing off of. You said it's a joke. <laughs> playing off of Andrew's questions there with maybe I bigger it, projects. I'm, I mean, then just basically dropping you like a hot turd on the smallest little hiccup there that wasn't even your fault. <laughs> do you even want to keep making stuff on YouTube, or do you think about spreading out maybe? into other ventures yeah, you can come on the official uh, broadcasting network <laughs> oh thank you we really appreciate it i uh been getting into streaming lately i guess i enjoyed trying out different shit but i'm happy doing what i'm doing i i really don't feel too need of doing other things at all i kind of stream- dabble into other things and i find like the effort and uh it was just not as fun i'm, I'm happy doing what you I'm didn't doing. have as much fun with streaming we're having a lot of fun with no, streaming no, he just started I'm having streaming. a lot of fun with streaming. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm yeah. just like yeah. testing out different things and I and I yeah, I I'm I I think people always saw YouTube as kind of a platform to go into different things. Mm-hmm. That's how I thought you had to treat it because I didn't think it would last long mm-hmm. at all, but I think I think looking at it now I'm like I'm super happy just to be doing what I'm doing. That's all that's always how I viewed it as well. Just a platform to get somewhere else, I suppose. Just why I've never considered it a job and I never will. I kind of always viewed it as like a I don't know, a, a, in a uh, how do I describe this? Like a idea board, but other people can mm. see it. A social concept. A lot, yeah, it's sort of. Like a lot of my content is just oh, that's a stupid idea I had. I want to bring it to life, but not necessarily in the way I see it. So like um I started a dumb series where I just use MS Paint cutouts of like stock photos to like do skits of famous characters. And originally I saw it as an actual like skit show where I'd get costumes and shit. But right now I don't have the time or money for that. So I just made a really low budget shitty version of it. And I, but it was just to get the jokes and ideas out there. And that could and make it funnier even. Like even it's if you got the costumes exactly, out, that might yeah. even be better. That's, well, that was, that is actually a follow up question I wanted to bring up to. I guess all of us, because we all do this to a degree. How much of when you're editing or making a project, do you see it in your head? And then how different is the end product and how much are you of that are you happy with? My the, my overarching question is when you're working on something and you see an idea, how much of that actually comes to fruition and how much of it do you change as you make along it or make all, make it up along? You know what I mean? Well, I have, I have a guy that helps me with editing and we always say this is save this shitty video with editing. Because a lot of times, like, <laughs> you can you can make a shit recording good just through editing, mm-hmm. like, a, and sometimes videos that I think will be do really well or were great just turns out really flat. So, editing is uh, everything. Like, it just so so much to your video. Right, right. Yeah. What about you, Charlie? How much do you like pre envision for doing your content? Uh, it depends. <laughs> Most of the time, it's. Just spur of the moment, I'll come up with an idea just out of nowhere. And pretty much every idea I have, I act on, except my porn movie reviews. That doesn't really fit YouTube's format. I always thought it'd be a great idea to shoot a porno, but the two people having sex are reviewing a product, like a movie or a video game, and, you know, they spank an ass, you know, and you give a score or something like that. I always thought that would be a fun idea that I can act on. But apart from that one, as long as there's like no vaginas and wieners, I pretty much act on every idea I have. Do you mean mm-hmm. like they review it while they're fucking? Is that what you're yeah. saying? Yeah. Okay. They like they review it together while they're fucking. It's a team effort. Well, you'd probably enjoy the series where girls read books on vibrators. No, that's a boring one. That's it's too generic for me. No. Oh, they don't, they don't I, even I, review the book. They just read it. Well, I mean, I want to hear, hear a tale of two cities while, like, there's orgasms going on. That sounds interesting. 
Right. Fair enough. Well, I can assure you it was the best of times. You could kickstart that yourself. You could just film yourself jacking off and giving something a review. <laughs> yep, that's, that's my whole video. I just jack off, and then when I'm done, I go, <laughs> six out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> but I just find the creative process really interesting, how things and projects can change as you're actually getting into <clears> them compared to the mental idea you had before you started it. Uh-huh. Definitely. Yeah, so I wondered how much there was going on with you guys. Well, my question's Speaking done. Speaking of philosophy, Felix, this has come up again and again between us and Andrew and Jackson <laughs> have an idea different than Charlie and I, and I'd like you to be the mediator. Okay. Have you seen that pool? Yes. Okay. Would you let yourself get tortured just like that pool if you mm. were to get immortality? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, uh nah. Thank you. Uh, it seems too much oh, to go what? through. Oh, yeah, I, no I didn't mean to out. disappoint you. <laughs> <laughs> no. you All right, discussion out. over. Three to two, we win. <laughs> That's it. Uh, yeah, you've made okay, me well, and Andrew very happy. Really? No, no. Yep. You can, you can. It, Kaya's question was too specific. The the eventual discussion evolved into immortality versus not immortality. Jackson and Andrew don't want oh, immortality okay. in any form. So if you could have oh, immortality okay. and still look as pretty as you do now, would you do that? It depends on the immortality, like, is it immortality as in, like, my body can heal or whatever, like Deadpool, or is it like, I just no, you're can never you're end you're like end. a god. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I probably wouldn't want that. Uh, Fuck. That's too much. I All get right, bored. two, discussion uh, over. We win. I'm already kind of bored. Yeah, that's what I'd be afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> now, Kaya, Jeez. Kaya, Kaya, we don't have to get into all yeah. of it, but I was thinking about it. Here's an addendum to my argument I want to say. I would love to live longer. I would love to live for like 500 years or something, mm -hmm. but not forever. I'd be happy if I, can, if I get to pick like, you know, when to, to start yeah. it. When, yeah, yeah, that's a, that's yeah. a good yeah. point. You can choose yeah, when that, to jump that's off. That's a good, that is a great so argument. Immortality I would, yeah. was suicide. I mean, yeah, well then. Exactly. If we had an well, out yes, at any time. There's no point to the question. You're just getting free stuff, basically. Free well, that's, years. well, no, that's what I'm saying. If, if we could be immortal, but have a button that was like, push this and you die whenever you feel like it, then I would do it. But well, it's like that, uh, would. that that TV show Bacano. Uh, it's an anime. I don't know. But it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> they get to choose when they want to die, when they're immortal. But then they find out that they're immortal, so they put them in like this... Um, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, where you lock people in. Uh, but it's jail? a cage. Prison. Yeah, a cage. And then they throw them in the ocean. Oh. There's oh, that I risk. Do you want to be forever in the ocean? <laughs> No. We well, if I if I'm endless, eventually it'll it'll decay. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a yeah. long way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, man. Uh, but but if you were endless, it would be like I don't know, blinking your eye. No, it wouldn't. Yeah, what? If you live a million years, what, just waiting for yeah, a cage to it'll rust be, and it, break it, apart, it'll be that a blink be a of the deal. eye eventually. But for that fucking two million years or whatever it takes for that to decay that's jesus two, two you, million years you, two kind million years yeah <laughs> cage that they put me in it's adamantium it's what if it was like yeah like a you know those uh security vaults like a really fucking strong shit well then i'd have like other hmm. i'd have other worries if i'm being hunted by the fucking x-men it's <laughs> 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 a good point i really enjoyed that i don't know why Hunted by the actual like. Felix, what would your X Men, -Men mutant power be? Up. Uh, spiral dick. Spiral dick. Thanks for asking. That was actually supposed to be it. No. Uh, <laughs> I I control people's mind. Ooh, wow. Oh wow! What would pretty, you? What would that's you a use pretty that top for? tier one. That's well, I I always here. go yeah. with whatever I can steal money from. That's the superpower <laughs> ability I want. <laughs> You, you have very simple goals in life, Felix. <laughs> <laughs> you have the power to control I anyone on that can be I interpreted, just, but that just seems like the most efficient way to go, you know? You, yeah. you have the well, power great, to control everyone I can fly, everyone whoopee fucking Earth, do, I can't get and money it just from becomes, it. I just want to make some cash. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I like how the merit of the power is based on the amount of money it can earn you. <laughs> He's, he's an honest <laughs> man. Yeah. Uh, I, was, uh, something like I that. realize yeah. it, it sounds worse than it means, but I, I'm just saying, like, yeah. people forget that, bay. Jesus. So wouldn't <laughs> wouldn't it be easier to do invisibility for free money, I guess? What's that? Wouldn't it be easier to pick invisibility for free money? Or how about the power to turn into money? <laughs> or just, just create money. money. Just create yeah. money. 
Why or, turn into boring? Money? At least with like the mind thing, you can still do some weird shit. <laughs> That's yeah. true. With mind control, you could you could do other things as well as the money. Yeah. If you turn into so, money, yeah. you're just fucked. So, no, Felix, knowing knowing you, your simple goals. If you had mind control powers, you just walk down the street and go up to people and go, "Hey, give me five dollars." And they exactly. do it, and that's it. That's all Why you do. Give me five dollars. Empty out your. Like, I'd go to the fucking bank, savings. of course. Come on, dude. Yeah. yeah. Are you kidding me, you Andrew? Well, you can't mind scale. control a bank. What's that? There's no mind. Yeah, you can. The teller. Oh. Oh. Uh, no, I'm fucking around. I know. Well, I, I guess that would be more complicated <laughs> than you think, as well. Yeah. I mean. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I haven't thought this Some through. supernova Jew you are, Andrew. What about like, you guys? Uh, I've always thought about powers, and I've always been torn between, like, teleportation or, Oof. like, Goku from Dragon Ball. Like, to be... Yeah, well, he's like, like a superhero. Yeah, yeah, Goku but, has a lot of powers, though. Yeah. Okay, One Punch Man, then. Mm, that's pretty different. Alright, so, so just insane yeah, so super different. strength, then, basically. Yeah. yeah. Would All you right. be bold uh, as well then? Is that how it works? Or would I bowl as well? I'd probably still bowl. No, get would bold. You be bald? bald. Oh, be bald. Oh yeah. fuck. I don't know. You gotta remember he trained so hard he lost his hair. Well, I'd skip that part. I'd just have the powers. <laughs> well, no, that's a different superpower. Oh, sure. Okay, I wanna be Superman, but without the kryptonite weakness. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> It doesn't work that way, Charlie. All right, just Bro. fucking give me teleportation then, asshole. <laughs> Teleportation's a damn good one. Where yeah, would you teleport? Yeah, Everywhere. Anywhere and everywhere. I would never even walk to my bathroom anymore. i just pull down my <laughs> oh, pants dude, and teleport Oh, dude, okay, right I changed my mind. <laughs> I'm going with teleportation as well. There you go. How Come are you going to get money out of the bathroom? Teleport into the bank. And, oh, oh, yeah. Just good. like in the movie Jumper. Here's the thing. I would pick super speed because then I get teleportation and a bunch of other shit. Super speed is insanely hmm. broken. You can do anything with super speed. <laughs> you can't go through walls like teleportation yeah. then. It's not no, you fair. Can't go through wall. You can't go through walls. Yeah, you can. You can vibrate your molecules through the molecules in the wall. The flash does it all the time. <laughs> Who made this game, Andrew? That's a horrible <laughs> rule. <laughs> That's No, the flash fucking does it. He does it all the time. Well, the that, flash that, that doesn't have enough. anything to do with going fast, though. He's just yeah. vibrating your molecules. Yeah, so you wedge between the ones <laughs> on the wall, and you can move through walls. So you super speed, you teleport, basically, because you're moving, like, instantaneously, and then you can go through anything, too. Super speed's and, awesome. I mean, I guess. Why does he run, then, if he can just vibrate his molecules? Yeah, for my superpower, <laughs> I just want to vibrate a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Every time people show up to Flash's house, he's just on the couch going. <laughs> you fall through the couch, then. <laughs> that sounds awesome. He, you would just vibrate away his pee as well, then. You wouldn't That's have true. to go to the bathroom either. Probably vibrate yeah, some see, money super, into existence. Super speed's amazing. <laughs> you just vibrate anything. <laughs> yeah, vibration is op. <laughs> I told you, vibration. Wait, so super speed's amazing. How does he not like fall through the earth then? Well, if he's not vibrating, he doesn't do it. As for that <laughs> question, during, during, the oh, he's, he's walking through he the only, wall. Why does he not also he fall only down? Different frequencies. The, well, no, he only vibrates the parts that are going through the material. Like if he's walking through a wall, he'll stick his hand through it first, and then his head, and then his leg, and then his leg, and whatever. That sounds like very. It would take ages. Yeah, yeah, that sounds tedious. Not if you do it quickly, you have super speed. You oh, can do yeah, it super right. quickly. <laughs> well, <laughs> super speed is too powerful. Take the keys and use a door. Because then what's the point of super speed? Exactly. You're coming full yeah. circle. Teleportation's better. It's just a worse version of it. Yeah, yeah. it can just be on I'd, the other side of the wall. You don't have to vibrate. <laughs> well, maybe, you don't know how you teleport, though. Teleportation is just like super quick molecules getting from A to B. Yeah. Maybe that's vibration speed. as well. That's what as super well. speed yeah. is, too. Yeah, maybe everything ties back to vibration. Universal <laughs> yeah, constant. Maybe <laughs> If you believe string theory, that frog. might be actually right. Let's ask Tyson. Yeah. And then he can be like string theory with three periods on Twitter. What about it, Jackson and Kaya? What would your X-Men yeah. mutant power be? We talked about this on the Pepper podcast, I think. We I did? still go with One Punch Man, Alucard, or Superman. No, that's just insane, stupid, p broken power. Well, that's what anime character you would be. That was that was different. One power. The yeah, power to okay. learn any skill or like talent super quick. So you'd be Taskmaster. That'd be cool. I don't know. Sure. Yeah. You'd be like uh, Stephen Strange. Yeah. 
or uh, kind of oh, or Taskmaster. Cool. Yeah, I guess. Which, yeah, it you you guys don't know who Taskmaster is? He's no. a Deadpool character. Uh, he uh. literally his ability is adaptive memory. He can watch any superhero and then steal their abilities. Like, like oh, he can watch shit. Captain America and then learn all of his ways to use the shield and acrobatics he doesn't have by a just shield. looking at him. He doesn't That's even useless. need it. He can just watch and then know instantly how to do it. Well, what shield like is he going to use? Yeah. He, a he can yeah. make his own. It doesn't matter. Well, it's, it's not going to be as powerful. Make his own? Yeah, where's well, he going to get the I mean, vibranium? Yeah. Well, that's true. Okay, so he well, watches he'll vibrate, Superman. Then... Can he fly? No, but if he could fly, he would know how to fly like Superman. <laughs> <laughs> so useless. Oh, wonderful. That's, well, that's but what that's Jackson a... wants. It doesn't play that there's other superheroes, though. It'd I'm be useless if like, no one else had it. Yeah, I'm not planning yeah. on beating Superman or besting well, Wolverine it, in an arm wrestling match. I'm talking yeah, about like Jackson playing the piano. Yeah. Well. Uh, yeah, I still think Jackson's <laughs> power is really cool. He could play every instrument. He could instantly learn any skill. I think that's really useful. Well, now I think Taskmaster's yeah. fucking useless, though, so nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a villain. He's a he's a mercenary. He's not even, like, a big superhero. He's just a, char- a running character. What a fucking shit name as well, Taskmaster. He didn't learn the skill of, like, <laughs> learning a good name. That's shit. <laughs> no one had that super ability. No. <laughs> there were no good names around to copy. <laughs> no, no, Steve. Big- Fuck, that's, that's bad. That stupid... It'd be so a bit like lackluster iPhone app. to Maybe know everything right away, though. Like, that would take the fun out of learning if you had that ability. Oh, you're, you're the one going on about stealing money off homeless people or something. <laughs> Where did you get the homeless? They don't have any yeah. money. Why would I steal from them? That's a bad uh, business well, venture. I'll see you <laughs> tomorrow. Hey, I'm just saying. All right, I don't, I don't, I'm just saying. I don't mean to repeat. Where's the fun if you, just, you automatically have all the money? There's no work up towards that. You have to teleport Yeah, because there. The, the fun of working for money, there is no fun in it. That's what You're I'm saying. There's no fun in fun. fucking spending ages learning something when you can just have it well, at the end. it can be. I really like Jackson's yeah. power. I know we're giving him shit, but Jackson, I think that's a really good power. <laughs> all right, you suck up. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, I mean, fuck you too. It's my power. You choose your own. I did! I want super speed! That's then shit I can power! Re- That's just no, it's vibrating! Great. You, okay, Jackson, you read a book on how to s- fucking jack off cats, and I all I have to do is flip through the pages at super speed, and I'll instantly know it. Yeah, but I, 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 it I only need speed. to look at you, apparently, and then I know how to super speed. <laughs> shit! He's got me! <laughs> I feel like I'm in middle school again. I love middle terrible. school debates. Oh, man. I, I love these discussions. Yeah, I'm so fucking glad team. you guys don't like sports. Whenever anyone asks that question, like, about the game, I'm like, what fucking game? Like, why are you assuming I know what game you're talking about? Yeah. Oh, I hate that too, man. It oh, pisses yeah. me off. I don't know why it's, it bothers me so much. Sports is such a massive thing. The assumption thing. is what bothers you. I yeah, should. Yeah. I feel like I should just. I should just ask questions the same same way. Like, hey, what what do you think of the last uh, fucking Peter Pie video? I don't know some shit. <laughs> Like, what, what do you think of PewDiePie? Why the fuck were they, they know? Yeah. Like, I wouldn't just assume shit about other people and their interests. Yeah. The thing about... Like, it's like when your friends tell you a story, but they suddenly name drop people you don't even know, and they assume yes. you, and I hate that yeah. No, it's, it's oh, not even God, that. Just, it's, it's like they tell... Jessica said... Th- it's it's like they tell you a story about people you don't even know, like you're supposed to give a shit. Like, oh my God, <laughs> did you hear what happened to Richard? All the time. He dropped his keys in the sewer, and then you're just thinking, who the fuck is Richard? I don't yeah, care. <laughs> The way you're supposed to react to sports, too, is just so expected. Like, they go, hey, we won last night. You go, that's good. And you go, oh, <laughs> they beat us last night. And you go, that's bad. Like, there's there's not really much to discuss. Hey, you did it. We won. I'm happy. Why is it we? I didn't play. People uh-huh. get so passionate about sports. It's crazy. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Especially over a- here in Australia. The, like, the stadiums are always practically filled. And it's always on, like television like i don't know if it's the same over there probably is like news channels have dedicated sports segments where they drone on about sports for th- like 20 minutes or so it's yeah it's very ingrained in culture mm-hmm. i used to follow pretty much every sport really closely throughout high school really? I used to, yeah i used to play basketball and football uh-huh. a little bit you so play, it makes sense, wait, I guess. wait 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 you played basketball yeah. you're short <laughs> <laughs> why is that so amazing because he's, he's super short yeah, is <laughs> a dwarf? I'm I, not super. Uh, five six is not like super dwarf. short. It's short. I'm five short. seven. Hell yeah, got him! <laughs> <Yes. Wow. laughs> Get full. You're on the basketball team. You look tall in your videos. 
Well, there are wait, five of us. How, we can start wait, a basketball team. How much is five seven in centimeter? I gotta look this up. It might be wrong. Hundred and forty five. Oh shit, dude! No, you are really short. I'm sorry. I'm. Well, no, it's, it's, it's not 145. He's wrong. It, it's, I'm a grower, not a shower. <laughs> uh, I'm. Uh, fuck. It, it doesn't matter. No one gives a shit. Uh, fuck, now I want to know. Four, now I want to know. Is it really? really 14.99 foot. Is that how you say it? No. Fuck. 14.9 <laughs> feet. He would be as no, tall wait, as I a got fucking it giraffe. <laughs> Jesus the Christ! Story on most buildings. That's like three Charlies standing on top of each other, <laughs> with my dad holding us up. <laughs> Holy Lord! Yeah, that's my size. That's it. Do you come from the land of giants, Felix? <laughs> Fuck me. Yeah, it's, it's sweet and sweet. We're, oh, we're, we're, we're a tall breed. Five point eight seven. Oh, you're, but, yeah, you're, you're like average height. It's fine. Yeah, it's average well, so, height. I'm, so am I. 5.6. No, you're not. No, that's is not average. Uh, Charlie, you got to speak up. I can't hear you that's, down there. <laughs> <Can't> I, <laughs> gotta look up Charlie in centimeters now. We, 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 need, a, we need a short guy on the podcast anyway. It's you feel that wrong? It's 172 centimeters. I already looked it up. I was close. Yeah, you you were right on the cusp when you guessed like ten inches or something. But yeah, I used to play basketball and I used to follow sports. I, I, yeah, that was the end of that story. I don't anymore <laughs> now that I don't play. I don't I don't see the point. How many centimeters are you, Charlie? A hundred seventy-two. Yeah, one seventy-two centimeters. Charlie, on the bright side, you were one thousand seven hundred twenty millimeters. That's so, a lot. That's, that's a lot good. of you, millimeters. You hear that, ants? <laughs> Take that. <laughs> and then they said, yeah, we hear you perfectly fine. You're at eye level. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys oh, feel man. about eSport? You watch that? Uh, oh, I, I, watch really, I watched some Worms eSport the other day, and that there was like one guy who blew everyone away with the bananas. It was insane. <laughs> I, um, I watch eSports, but I wish that eSports itself would shut the fuck up. There's, I think there's way too much fluff in between actually playing the game that I just do not care about. Hmm. You know what I mean? I prefer it's like speed with, uh, sort of fluff. over competitive well, the, esports. I, I mean, the problem is that like you watch a basketball or football game and it's they don't do like shows or breakaways for 30 <clears> minutes <throat> unless it's either halftime or the end of the game. In esports, they'll do like a round and then they'll go, well, now we're going to talk about it for 45 minutes, oh, uh, run shit, these man. ads, talk to these players. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Here's an inside scoop from guys that you've never heard of. It's like, I don't fucking care. Do all the game stuff first and then when you're on a big break, talk about this shit. How do you feel like about people watching care. It's about the personality cults yeah and I, the players. I, I i don't care about the people i just want to watch counter-strike i think the game's fun to watch but i don't care about anything else i don't know that makes can, sense can't you can't you watch like highlight reels afterwards or some shit yeah i mean at this point usually i wait till the tournaments are over and then watch the vods and skip through when it's not a game but that's it's just it's i'm lazy it's effort yeah I, yeah that's fair what's your opinion on them felix do you keep up with any particular esport categories or anything like that do you hate them do you like them um, don't really care actually that much. I don't no. really play that um, many games anymore. <laughs> oh my spare time! <laughs> I used to be so much into MOBAs, like that was my jam. So really, uh, yeah. Like before League was a thing, I remember when it was new. I was like, "Fuck League! It's the worst piece of shit." We were playing Han, <laughs> this, this fucking other one. That, I don't know. Everyone bought it into. I'd probably be into it if I had more time, but yeah. What do you think about a uh, Dota and Dota Two? I, I, I will always love Dota. It's so fucking fun. You have good taste, you, my friend. Yeah, you oh, played yeah. the original mod, I'm guessing, then, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was so fun. Wow. That's pretty <laughs> the great. The band list and all that shit. It's just fucking, like, I don't know. And, and we'd always go to net cafes, every, all of my friends, instead of actually, like, hanging out doing shit. And it was the, the best fucking time. Oh, I miss days like that. Like, I, I don't yeah. think anyone, I don't think anyone does it anymore. Most net no. cafes are probably just a pile mm -hmm. of ash, but those yeah. were always fun. I don't know people don't even know what they are anymore. Yeah. <laughs> just yelling Sucks. at each other across the move room when you're playing is just too fun. Oh, it oh, really yeah. is. Especially when you get into it and everything, and then the yeah. shit gets heated, and then there's just some unwilling uh, participants, just some people that wanted some food or some some coffee <laughs> or something, just getting caught <laughs> right in the crossfire. Yeah. I want to hold a land party now. Fuck me. I haven't done that in years. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gaming's changed it's so time. much. Yeah. It's crazy. It 
Well, it's internet kinda, got good, really so you don't, have, you don't need to go into NEC affairs anymore. It, it, well, it's yeah. not but even that. It's to. not even that. Like Xbox, Xbox Live has completely changed. Stuff like that. Ru- like I remember playing RuneScape all the time. I couldn't even imagine playing like MMOs anymore. Like the age of discovery and yeah, all that shit is gone. Jack, yeah, do you sucks. ever find with that, Jackson, that it's impossible to get in on the ground floor and things anymore? Like, every single thing I want to start, I'm like, oh, I'm so late to the party yeah. on this, or and, oh, I have no fucking even, idea. Yeah. Even, even, when a, even when a new game comes out, like, within 10 minutes, there's at least 50 guides up on how to find all the secrets and shit like that. Exactly. Oh, yeah. I hate that shit. I, I want to, I've been looking for ages for, like, something new to come out that I actually want to get into, but I always miss the boat, and then I hate it, because it's like, there's mm-hmm. no point. Everyone's so far ahead. Yes. Yeah, you wait for originals, right? Like new IPs and exactly. stuff like Either that. So you don't IPs, have to play the previous yeah. ten games that came out in the nineties. Yeah. Like I want to really enjoy Zelda, but I really don't want to play this NES game. Yeah. Mm. Like fucking just last week, I was like, you know what? I want to try Destiny. I I might want. I might like it. I want to try it. And then I read, oh, Destiny Two is coming out. And I'm like, fuck. Well, yeah, what's the fucking point? What's, what's the point at this point? Yeah. Fuck. Well, luckily I, I got in on Destiny on day one, so I'm excited. Do you like Destiny? I really want to try it. I think it looks fun. Destiny, Destiny was shit at vanilla. It is. It's good now. Oh, it is good. Uh, there's a, there's so much content in, in it. I mean, it depends. It depends then. on what you like. It is a bit repetitive. It does get a bit repetitive. You, but you don't need he, to keep selling him. He's he's saying he's going to get in there. But but uh, <laughs> the, the soundtrack's kind of nice. The graphics could use a bit of work. Mm-hmm. Well, hopefully they'll improve it in Destiny Two, coming yeah, out get, uh, whenever it comes out. Get the ultimate edition. I will for <laughs> what are you guys usually price playing? Forty dollars. Like, like, do you guys usually play together? Do you guys ever like? No, we don't talk to each other outside of this shit. This is not really work. We're I did like get a little busters. bit of that vibe. We're we're like <laughs> the MythBusters or Penn and Teller. We just strictly business, no association outside of this. I mean, fair enough. I can respect that. <laughs> no, no, we're kidding. you don't respect friendship. No, I fuck it. <laughs> Waste of time. Money, <laughs> money over friends. All about the money. Well, Only actually, that's a, that's a good way for us to chill super hard. We started a Twitch stream for uh, the official, called the official channal. And uh, we've been doing Wait, are we live now? streaming. Up. No, oh, God. So, no, 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 no. Oh, We're no. broadcasting live to the whole world. <laughs> that cat dick part made it through? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, I guarantee you it's going to make it through. Don't you worry. <laughs> yeah, that one's going in there. For sure. It'll be the title. I'll but put no, it in we, every uh, future episode as well. <laughs> Shh, that'll be our that'll be Pewdiepie our intro. masturbates cat. <laughs> <laughs> and then Polygon so, exclusive. Well, well, that'll get you demonetized. So you guys pick whatever you want. This YouTuber <laughs> teaches your children to molest animals. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, we uh, we've started intermittent streaming together on our Twitch channel. So, and we're having a lot of fun with that. Actually, that's cool. And I know yeah. you what said you guys you're enjoying stream? streaming. Pretty much just any game. Like we played a, we were in the Worms Grand Championship a couple days ago. Worms is we fucking streamed, awesome. Yeah, we streamed that, and then Counter Strike. Emphasis on where you got blown. Yeah, the I fuck don't, out. I don't remember who won. The the details of the score at the end were fuzzy. <laughs> the Worm Lord did. Yeah, gentlemen. Kaya Kaya is pretty dang good at Worms. Uh, Tiana think, has oh, a score. fuck off. We were all like, we were doing creative kills at the end there, and he's fucking launching airstrikes from the safety of the bunker. Ki- I gave you the rules. I told you, set the rules for the match, and then you did, and you still lost. Me? Well, not you. You were gone. You just left in the middle of the stream, but. Well, I Charlie got sick of losing. Lost. <laughs> Is that really why you left? <laughs> no, I had stuff Oh, to thank do. God. I was about to say, what are you, seven? <laughs> he left because he had to trim his cat's fingernails. Or he, le- he left. He left because he had to hurry to a midnight screening of Jurassic World. I I, I left because there was a toad hunt going on. <laughs> They're called uh, the alarm sounds, and everyone just gets out of the house. <laughs> the whole town Get goes on red alert. Well, what about you, Felix? Do you, what do you typically stream? I'm curious to uh, check it out. Fuck, I don't know. I I, fin- I just streamed yesterday to finish <laughs> off because there's too many games out now and I'm yeah. not finding hard to keep up. I know it's not necessarily a bad thing, but I've mm-hmm. uh, been playing Persona 5. Uh, How do you oh. like that? <laughs> I actually started playing that because of your uh, uh, moist meter, Charlie. Oh, wow. Oh, Ooh, sweet. Damn. Because you were praising That's... it so much. I was like, because right. I played Persona 4, but I never really got into it. Um, I, I can see it being the kind of game I like and I'm actually really enjoying it. God damn, yeah, it's, it's a glowing review awesome. of the moist meter. 
The moist meter <laughs> works, guys. On the back of the moist meter, Jackson. Oh. PewDiePie approved. Yeah, we're <laughs> wow. impacting. We're impacting sales. You hear that game company? You guys, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So wait, <laughs> if Felix watches Charlie's channel, and sometimes I'm on Charlie's channel, then uh, through osmosis, sometimes Felix watches me. No. Yeah, but tr- no. Felix yeah, touches cat that dicks. That's n- <laughs> all right. I forgot. Respect. There's not enough cat dicks in our content. <laughs> I really I, hope I this do becomes hope a staple like- of what I do now. So, Felix, how do you feel about the transition between streaming and YouTube? Like, what are what are some things that you might not have been aware of or things that you're really liking in the difference or disliking? What's the takeaway? I like how it's you're on the same page as the audience. Like, they're, they're the same vibe as you having, as, as you're mm-hmm. having. A lot of times you can make a video with a certain intention, but people don't really get it <laughs> or they don't get on board and you, can't, you don't know until it's up, you know? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Does that happen to you guys? Really or? Point. I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nope, just for you. sure. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, definitely. So I, I like oh, that. What yeah, video for you, Charlie? Same page. I'm curious. What was that, you've, Jackson? You, you've obviously thought of a video then that's had a different reaction, Charlie. What was oh, it? Oh, Christ. Yeah. One time there, there was like a. I, I've learned the hard way. You'd never want to talk about anything that the police do that might be goofy because oh, for right, some yeah, reason yeah. That, that squeezes some real hard nipples. Like that Wait, shit what? gets people oh, yeah. all riled up. Sorry. Like when the police do something goofy and it gets caught on camera. Oh. Uh, people get enraged and always make it about. You're p- not allowed to hate, not hate the police, Felix. Yeah. On the internet. Oh. You can't. You can't even mention them. Apparently, I made a video. I think it was like two years ago when some cop just acted like fucking Tom, voice crack. Acted like Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible when he was breaking up a pool party. <laughs> Like, he fucking jumped over a fence and somersaulted in with, like, a taser out. He was, like, giving orders to the kids, and I was making fun of it. I called him Officer Action. And people took this as me promoting police brutality against you. Uh, <laughs> people don't mm-hmm. stop and think on the common sense point. Yeah. Who the fuck is going to promote police brutality? It wasn't even Come worth on. it. You didn't even make it onto the Wall Street Journal. I know. They <laughs> didn't even call me a, a police brutality enthusiast. I mean, if you if you stream that part, like no one would give a shit. Like I'm sure people would love that. Like it, it's yeah. weird how uh, these uh, kind of uh, passive aggressive almost uh, schooling comments they always show up on videos, but not on streams, I guess. Yeah, I feel like with a stream, you have a lot more of a setup and more of a context to it, so they can see what mm-hmm. your thought process kind of is behind what you're saying. And I don't think people would take things the wrong way. I think people are smart yeah, enough to point. pick up on it. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, I was yeah, we've saying been we've been long yeah we've been recording for a little longer than we usually we usually do. So we can go ahead and wind this down. Do you have any questions you wanted to ask us, Felix, or promote anything uh, if you want as well? Well, of course, I guess yeah, promotion. you really don't need it. But if you get if you guys want ever want to come to UK and masturbate some cats, you're you're definitely welcome. It was fun hanging out with you guys. <laughs> oh, what are you saying? Nice we're you. we're friends of yours. I mean, I wouldn't <laughs> go that far. No, that's oh, okay. not. But yeah, don't put know, words in his mouth. If we happen Felix, to bump into each other, you know, Felix, you might we, be the first person that we've had on the show in entirety. Where when you offered to hang out with us, it wasn't just offering Charlie to hang out with you. Oh, <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> oh, that's, that's completely true. Everyone, when they if they ever yeah. choose to offer to hang out, it's only just Charlie. That's not true, right? I mean, right. I, I, I no. just I added you guys just to be polite. To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to say it. I wouldn't be surprised. I would, yeah, no. I would take offense to that. Uh, to be honest, I didn't guy. know much He's about really you guys before, but I, I, it, was, it was definitely fun hanging out. Oh, great. Yeah, you're, it was really thank you for coming on. Like, really appreciate it. And you were a great guest. Yeah. Oh, you're a great and, and also, just just to rub my face in, or my ass in Andrew's face, you're wrong about that. Both Ray and Jack guy offered to oh, hang yeah. out with the whole gang. There you go. Really say Jackson. I'm the worst. Just, wait. When did Jack Septicai off of that? I thought Jack Septicai was when on we right wind now. It down. <laughs> Is his mic muted? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, that's Felix's channel, right? Well, I'm Markiplier. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Wait, you're not critical. <laughs> All right, let's end this. Overplayed <laughs> 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 that joke. Yeah. This all happened two we- weeks ago. <laughs> That happens all the time. Wrap it up here. For real, if you do want to promote anything or shout anything out, by all means, Felix. Uh, check out my channel, uh, YouTube.com. I guess I should say Jack Septic Guy, but no, uh, YouTube.com <laughs> slash PewDiePie. It's a great channel. Yeah, I'll, I agree. Uh, I'll release my private videos if you come check it out. Ooh. 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 That's actually a really that good bargain. That was a lie. Oh. I'll, re- I'll release don't, the don't cat masturbation videos. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, we should probably... 
we should probably hurry up and get clear so we can give Felix his check. <laughs> <laughs> you love yeah, his just money. PayPal me or whatever you guys say. Do it. <laughs> Don't worry, yeah. we got the funds. Oh, oh, this long to get the money together. <laughs> I've been the raising this on my lemonade stand for three months now. <laughs> That's not gonna cut you. Yeah, but we've all, Felix we've is a all man who can generate stands. money. We gotta get him enough. I need I need equity in this podcast now. <laughs> <laughs> you want to lose money? Actually, actually <laughs> do you want to be majority yeah, shareholder? Podcast if you want to. Kaya and I were talking yeah. about this before the podcast. We said we should ask Felix if he wants to buy the podcast from us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it seems like a great investment. Yeah. Everything is so that. well organized. I, well, I mean, and, it's uh, worthwhile. Really it's it's, by, it's totally it's worthwhile. We had PewDiePie on at one point. <laughs> yeah, yeah here, it's like a good, what YouTube good guy, is to Google. Google. <laughs> it's just face value. <laughs> All right, uh, Charlie, yeah, yeah. do you want to end this one? Uh, yeah, but uh, for real, thank you for coming on. It was a pleasure. And uh, thank you, everyone, for the Patreon support and just keeping up with it and everything. So thank you, everybody. There's links to shit in the description. And uh, yeah, thanks again, PewDiePie, Felix. Thank you a lot, Felix. Thanks, guys. It's fun and being on. Thank thanks you. for coming on. Enjoyed it. Goodbye. Right, See ya. Bye. Bye.